Well, starting off where we last left you in our last video, when a caravan caught fire and what happened in between us going on our trip this Christmas holidays. We're in Lithgow and something's on fire in the caravan. We're not quite sure what. So we just got the um, extinguisher out. I'm not sure what's going on, but got flames under the bed. Phew. We've got to open some windows. Have you got that propped? No. holidays so we've got our baby back ready for the holidays and Stevie's just going to run through what's been replaced we've got all new wiring 12 pin plug the camera didn't work so it's just a temporary wire on there at the moment Anderson plug but yeah all new cabling all the way through um, and here they've rewired the brake controller Oh, that looks neater than what was there. I'm taking out the old 240 volt charger. And then under here we've got new junction box with all the wiring coming through. 120 amp hour batteries down here. Down there. Yep. And so everything's been removed out of the caravan. We haven't had it for over two and a half months. So we're still gonna put the mattress back in. Cupboards are empty. We're going to totally um, rethink what goes in. And then what have we got here? So, a new 1500 watt inverter, solar controller here. That's the 240 volt charger. And then a, this one here is a DC to DC charger. And then that, that's the original our water system. And then we've got a new PowerPoint here for the inverter. Yep. And the control panel. Yep. And I'll pop, by now I would have popped on um, some photos of it was burnt out all behind the panels. That's a whole new panel at the end there. And this one as well. Yep. Had to have all the wiring replaced and we were so close to losing it. Lose it, yeah. We're minutes, seconds even. That's what the repairers were telling us. So yeah, now it's time to pack our baby and get on the road just after Christmas. Can't wait. So we are extremely excited. We're now all packed, ready to go on another adventure. Uh, we got our caravan back late yesterday, so today we've been busy packing it. And because we emptied it completely for them to rewire it, I'm rethinking how I store things. And I got these plastic containers and they fit perfectly. You can either lift them out to see, uh, get things out of them or... Uh, the fact that they're clear you can see what's in them another little idea was instead of all my glass jar herbs and spices i bought this really large pill box and i have just labeled it with my favorite spices and herbs and anyway that's a great way for traveling um for camping so yeah everything's packed much better than it was before um i've also got containers whoop there i am um, now in my back cupboard, we used to have hanging space there, but it really was a waste. So Steve built these shelves and I've got these crates to either carry extra food or clothing. And we also have a double crate here because what we do is, um, you know, when you go camping, you think, oh, the next day, those clothes weren't that dirty. So we have a um, basket for clothes that we can rewear the next day or ones that definitely have to go in the wash, but we might actually put a plastic bag in there to save on um, odours like uh, the fire, 
um, or body. <laughs> um, another thing uh, that I think is a really cool idea is that someone gave me this for Christmas um, at work and they've sewn up this little bowl holder. So these are really good if you've got a hot dish and you're sitting um, eating out of your lap. Um, the other thing I think they're great for is to store things to stop them clanging about. And there is a YouTube on how to make these. Uh, if I find the link, I'll post it under this video. The other thing is I've re-evaluated what plates we use and I've bought some bamboo ones which are so light and, um, and thin lined so they don't take too much room up. And I've also bought those clear containers to have extra crockery. Um, we also aren't taking as much glass as we used to take. Um, I have a whiskey glass for Steve and I have a wine glass for me and I have a little beer mug, but the rest is all plastic. So again, it's really lightweight. Um, we also, of course, we're thinking what we really need. We're traveling so light, so this is great. You don't need everything. Um, Last but not least, I just wanted to mention a fire extinguisher. Make sure you can grab that if something should happen. If we didn't have that there and um, Steve wasn't able to get it, we would have lost our van. We were seconds from it actually all going up. So anyway, let's see where we end up on the road. I believe we're heading to South Australia. So it's 4.30 a.m. Boxing Day morning and we're finally going on a road trip again. Yeah. So we're well on our way and yeah looking good. I think we're definitely ahead of the traffic. I think it's going to be pretty pretty busy later on. Seventh of December 2022 and last night we camped here at Penrose Caravan Park. So we're heading up to Mundy Mundy which is where Mad Max was filmed, the original. Cockburn, which is not far from Broken Hill, 
and we're very, very close. Oh no, that says welcome to South Australia. It's the border. <laughs> we are that close to South Australia. It is there. Woohoo! close to the quarantine checking point and gotten rid of all our fruit and so veg. We're coming into the quarantine station and we'll see what happens. So we're all clear. The fellow came on and looked in our fridge in our freezer and the car fridge and he knows we're going to have a good New Year's because we have plenty of grog in the car fridge. Anyway, no fruit and veg, so we're free to go. Yay! made it to Port Broughton and the ocean and the breeze is beautiful. I'm just walking past the public toilets as you do. Ah, oh, it's lovely. A bit of a dolphin there. Beautiful. Yeah, that breeze. Wow, that's awesome. Can't wait to get in the water. We're going to head now down to York Peninsula and find a camping spot. There is a beautiful pub just over there. Catch the ferry, did you say, over to Port Lincoln? Yes, the car, wait, put your car, on the car ferry. ferry. So this is where the ferry is. You can catch across. There's the ferry, but here you can actually drive on the beach. So we're just cruising down to check out one of the many camping spots on York Peninsula. This one that we're heading to is called The Gap and apparently it has toilets. Does it have showers? No, no just toilet. Um, yeah, we'll have a little look. It's probably very popular because of that fact. But anyway, uh, we're starting to have a look at a place to make our own. So this is the campground at The Gap. There's a toilet over there if you need it. And there's quite a few little flies. And this is our little tracks that we're weaving ourselves around with the caravan to try and find a spot. Oh, you can see all these little flies. Very annoying. sitting here having a wine. Steve's down there fishing and a few clouds are rolled in. I believe we're going to have a shower tonight 
and it's beautiful. I've got some ice rocks in here that Auntie Lynn gave me for Christmas. Thank you, Auntie Lynn. It was a top of 33 degrees today and at 7, 7, 7.30 it was still 41 degrees. Um, there's a lovely breeze and yeah, it's very comfortable and I'm very chilled. Follow us in part two to see what we get up to on the York Peninsula. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. The sun is just setting and I have just caught my first South Australian squid. Woohoo!